Hey beauty bloggers, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another edit with me video and today's video is going to show you how to edit a vlog. Now, I haven't put up any vlogs on my Beauty Addict Max store channel or my Beauty Vlogger 101 channel. The reason for that being because I created another channel. I have another channel called The Beauty Addict Diaries, which is going to be my lifestyle channel. So, um, and if you wanna learn more about what that channel is gonna be about, I will link that channel down below along with the welcome video, and then I do have one a vlog video up because I wanted to put two videos up at the same time. I didn't wanna just throw out a welcome video. So that went up on Monday this week. That channel will have videos that go up on Mondays. Beauty Addict Next Door, which is my makeup and beauty channel, which has like hauls and makeup tutorials. Those will go up on Sundays and Wednesdays and then this Beauty Vlogger 101 channel I will get a video up either on Friday or Saturday. It just kind of depends on how busy and crazy my life gets. So um, if it's not up Friday, it'll be up Saturday. So just want to let you guys know about that. I have three channels, one lifestyle, one beauty, one like an educational type of channel and then those are the dates that they go up. So I will list that all down below in the description box for you guys, but I just wanna let you guys know about that. I'm really excited about it because I love getting to know you guys, so um, that is gonna be a good way to get to know you guys is on that channel especially. So please subscribe to all channels. I would absolutely love it. Uh, I know not everyone who watches me is a beauty vlogger, so I can understand if you don't follow this channel, uh, but definitely check out my lifestyle and beauty channels. Uh, I'm having so much fun. But anyway, back to what I was originally talking about with this video is that I'm going to show you guys how to edit a vlog. So after my welcome video on my my The Beauty Addict Diaries channel, I put up a vlog video as well. So I'm going to be showing you how I edited that vlog video. So I think this would be really fun. It would be a different type of video that I have had to edit. Actually, this is going to be the first time that I'm editing a vlog video. I haven't actually edited it yet, but by the time this video goes up, I will have edited it. Uh, I'm just doing the introduction ahead of time. But yeah, so it'll be my first time editing a vlog. I kind of did something similar where I did with like a, a behind the scenes get ready with me. Uh, but this one's going to, but these vlogs are going to be a little bit more lifestyle focused as opposed to education or beauty focused. And I kind of, you know, talk to you guys, let you know what's going on in my life. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. But yeah, that is what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to show you how I edit a vlog. All right, now that we got that introduction out of the way, let's jump on into the tutorial on how to edit a vlog video. So step number one is that you have to go and import the video. So I already imported the videos and then I moved them onto my G drive just because I was traveling. So I needed to put everything on the G drive to take with me. So I'm, I already pulled probably about the first 10 clips from here already and dragged them into iMovie. So I will show you me dragging in some of the other ones. So what we're going to do now is open up iMovie and then we're going to drag more of those clips into my video. So here's the video. I already uh, made it. So all you have to do is go to that add button and then you create a video. So I'm just clicking on the one that's already made and then we're going to go to the end of this set of clips and then drag in more in the order of the clip numbers because it went in order obviously. <laughs> so I'm just dragging those in. So I'm going to drag in a couple and then I will start editing them. So the first thing that I gotta do is reduce the background noise on these clips. So you just click reduce background noise. And isn't my Michael so cute? I love him, They're, he's so adorable. So now I'm going over to this one, clicking this button right here to reduce the background noise. That's the first thing you wanna do because you don't wanna forget and then go to finish editing, you exported it and then you find out, hey, there's this one clip that's a little fuzzy and sounds bad. So always go and do that first. So now I'm going to move some of these clips to the trash just because it's taking up storage on my computer, which is such a struggle, guys. I'm sure you all experience that from time to time, too. If you guys have any tips, please let us know down in the comments on how to deal with storage issues. I have some ideas and things that have worked for me, uh, but if there's anything else that you guys want to contribute, please let me know. I'll do a video on that later. Before we go and start editing each individual clip, like cutting certain pieces off, I'm going to add in the rest of the clips. I just feel like just finishing that and just adding what's left and then um, just, you know, reducing the background noise. You don't have to go in exact order that I do. You can kind of mix it up. You can drag some in, reduce the background noise. You can drag them all in, reduce the background noise. You can do it one at a time. It's whatever works for you. So the main thing is that once you're done, done importing clips, make sure that you um, reduce the background noise first. That's probably the most important thing because you want your sound to obviously sound good, right? So I'm just going to finish up here importing the clips 
reducing the background noise, and then we can start hardcore editing these clips. So here's where I'm going to start editing the clips where I like, kind of cut certain parts off. So I'm just going to run over these and see if there's anything that needs to be cut out, especially at the beginning of a clip and the, the end of a clip because, you know, you kind of start and stop talking. But as you can see here, there are like, if you look at where the volume is right underneath the clip, there are little spikes. That tells you if you're talking and how long you loud you're talking. If there's absolutely no spike, that means that there's no talking. So if it's something that you don't want to include, like if you're just like staring at the camera, then you start talking, cut that part out. So that will help you determine where you start and stop talking and make it quicker for you to edit. So I knew I was about to start talking there and it cut off the first part. And then right here, obviously, like the camera's going out. So I want to cut off this part right here. You don't want to show too much of that. So I'm kind of trying to start with the beginning and the ends of the clips first. And then I'll go through and like listen to everything. So anything where there's that big huge space like that right there, I'll work on cutting that off first. Try to get the bigger stuff out of the way and then kind of rewatch your entire video and then kind of edit out anything you think you sounded bad or you repeated yourself too many times, you said the word um too many times. Worry about that later. Get the big stuff out of the way first. Now once I've imported all the clips, edited down the clips and reduced the background noise, what I do is I go to the beginning and ending of every single clip just to make sure that, you know, none of my, you know, my voice didn't get cut off anywhere. There wasn't too long of a pause. So I just go back and look to make sure that everything sounds okay. Now that we got that taken care of, what we need to do is export our video out of iMovie. Now that's just what I do. If you do all of your editing in iMovie, you just keep it in there. If you do all of your editing in Final Cut Pro, obviously keep them in there. But I use two programs to edit my videos. So what I need to do now that I'm done with the editing in iMovie is to export. So what you need to do now is go to the share a button, click file, then you're going to update your title if you need to, then you're going to hit next and save. And now all you got to do is wait for it to export. Usually when things are exporting like this, I will try to go clean something work on other videos, comment back to people, whatever helps me get stuff done quicker. Multitasking is key when it comes to YouTube. So that's what I'm doing while this is exporting. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna jump into Final Cut Pro. Now if you're wondering why the background has changed, I'm actually doing this screening later, like two weeks later than I did the first screening. Just because I had to get this video up, there was a lot going on. So I already edited the video and everything. So I'm going to go over the basics of how I edited this video. So first of all, whenever you go into Final Cut Pro, you have to, you know, import the video. You have to create a project. So this is the project that I was working on. So I went to File, New, Project, and then I put in the title that I chose right here. So then what you need to do is you need to drag the movie from um, iMovie that you exported that is now on your desktop, at least that's where I exported mine, and you're going to drag it in. If you didn't drag it in, you would have to use that important button, which is that down arrow on the left side. Um, other than that, though, I'm going to show you how I edited the beginning, the end of this video, and then everything in between after. All right, so I'm first going to show you how to do the beginning right here. So you have this first clip, which is just a clip from my video. And then we have a title with some music right here. And then we have two more titles at the beginning. So we have this one. Uh, which kind of, you know, does the title of the video and then this one which has the date. So we're going to go more into that in a second. So the first part is this clip right here. So all I did was I went and take a, took a clip from part of the video, something that is interesting, something that will grab people's attention. So whatever is the funniest thing, um, most interesting thing that you want to include that's in your video, make sure you do a little clip of that at the beginning. So I went down here somewhere and just picked a clip. Not saying it's the most exciting clip in the world, but some I wanted to show a clip that A, was more interesting, and B, showed me in it. I was thinking about doing a clip of my cats, but because this is my first vlog, I really wanted to show my face just because it's my first one. It's also my first real video. So I picked this clip right here, as you can see, and then I just put it here. So I'm going to play it again, you'll see it's the exact same clip. So I just put that there and keep the sound on. Whenever I'm doing my Beauty Attic Next Door videos or Beauty Vlogger 101, I take the sound off at that part, but not with this. So that was just the title there. 
with the music attached to it. So with that, you just pick out whatever title works for you. For me, I wanted to use the rotation. So I just went to text and I typed in rotation, picked that one, and then dragged it in. You can also just search around the text just to see which one works for you. Then I just added on this Taylor Swift blank space music. I may change it in the future. So I just went to music under iTunes and then typed in the song that I wanted and dragged it in. So right here we have this text called Assembler. And that, which you can find under here, once again, all you have to do is search it, and it'll pop up. Then right here, we have the basic lower third. It shows you right on that little purple bubble. So I'm just going to type in basic lower third. Now, as you will see, it's on the lower third. But in my video, it's not on the lower third. That's because you can move a text around, which is what's great about Final Cut Pro. All right, so back to the assembler text. That's the first text that we have after the introduction. So I wanted to put vlog right here and then put number one. So this can move as well, this assembler title and text. And yeah, it's my first vlog. I want to note what vlog number it is. So I put number one there. And then right here, I'm putting in what's interesting about the video. So my vlogs will be on the weekends. So I'll put weekends there, but right before it, I'll put like what's special about that weekend. Then right here, I will put the dates. So when you come here, it's important that you mark the date at which the video or clip is starting. So right here is where I'm starting Friday. Then if you go later into the video, this is where Saturday starts. So I want to note that. I want to note that here is Saturday, March 12th, so people can understand what time it is, what point of the week it is. It's really helpful. Then you go right here, and now we're at Sunday, March 13th. So this isn't as important if you're just doing like a one day video or you're really not trying to break it out like I am. But I think that's like fun, especially if you're doing a vlog of your weekend. Break up, put a title for each section of the video for the date. So now I'm going to show you the end of the video and how I edit that. So at the end of your video, it would be ideal if you actually like did an outro and said something like goodbye or this is the end of the vlog or something. But I forgot to do that, but it, just end it. It's not a big deal. And then right here, I have a template that I created on PicMonkey.com where I included all my social media. And then I just layered, you know, videos on top of it. So if you want me to do a video on how I created this and edited it specifically, I will go over that. But pretty much I just made that template and then I inserted these videos here and then just transform them so that they would fit in with the template. Now the last part is the thank you for watching part. So at the very end of every video, I always say thank you for watching just because you do want to thank your viewers. So I actually used this blank um, white template that I made in PicMonkey. You can go to the generator section right here and you can use different backgrounds. It doesn't have to be, you know, the black background that automatically comes with it or, you know, one that you create in PicMonkey. You can use some basics right here. Uh, but I just created a blank one in PicMonkey just because the white one there isn't as stark white as this one. And then I put the title on top. You may have to make sure you put the title on top of that part so it shows up. And then I also inserted, you know, the Taylor Swift blank space and music at the bottom. So at this point, basically everything is done. All I do is I go back and rewatch the entire video, make sure everything sounds good, you know, make sure, you know, there wasn't a part where I forgot to reduce the background noise, make sure that I didn't cut myself off when I was talking, made sure that the dates started where they were supposed to. So the dates are the only parts that I inserted on top. I didn't include any other text pictures or anything else. I didn't include music either. You know, this is a vlog. It's trying to show you what you're doing in your natural day-to-day -day life. It's not like you're trying to get super crazy with the editing in between here. So you just kind of want to make it a little bit more simple. So yeah, that's how I edit vlogs. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.